Blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. This is a well requested video. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how can I break free from certain sins? And uh, these are some things that I use along my journey that helped me out a lot as well, too. And I have some scriptures to go over. So I hope you guys get edified from this video, how to break free from, free from habitual sin. But if you haven't already, guys, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Number one, the number one way, guys, for, now this is not an order, too, by the way, not an order. But the number one thing you want to do, guys, is con to confess your sins and to forsake them, okay? It's in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. Before I read that verse, I want to share with you guys, there's a Bible verse that says that to examine yourself daily, how is Jesus Christ in you except you be reprobates, okay? That's in uh, Corinthians. I'll leave the verse somewhere on the screen, okay? To examine yourself daily. So we must be looking, examining our faults. A lot of people, they focus on other people's faults. They focus, and that's the sign, that's where people get messed up because we all have uh, certain battles, certain addictions, certain um, things that we're struggling, right? So we got to be focusing on our own walk, okay? Even the Bible says to focus on your own walk with fear and trembling. To, oh, sorry, focus on your own salvation with fear and trembling. So always keep that in mind, guys. You want to make sure whatever that's keeping you in bondage, even the sins that we're doing unknowingly, you always want to be confessing, you know, to the Father God, you know, um, show me what I'm doing wrong. Show me my error. Show me my wrongdoing and give me the strength to overcome. And God will definitely show you. God loves people who are humble. God loves people who want to be a humble servant to serve him. And I promise you guys, if he sees you're humble, he's going to give you the strength, um, the wisdom, the knowledge to overcome certain addictions, certain sins, etc., etc. So Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13 says, He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoever confess them and forsake them shall obtain mercy. So the one thing you want to do is co confess them, and then you want to forsake them through repentance, you know, repenting from a sin or whatever it may be, right? And whoever c covers his sins, whoever hardens their heart, you know, they won't prosper. So always be humble and, and admit your your wrongdoings, your, your uh, shortcomings. And, you know, like I say, when, you're, when you have a humble heart, a humble spirit, God will definitely have, you know, God gives mercy to the, um, he gives grace to the humble, okay? So number two is always feed your spirit and resist the flesh. This is the key. This is probably, this could have been number one. I guess none of this is in the order, it's all top of the head. But when you are feeding your spirit, you are now strengthening your spirit and and you can't see with the physical eyes, but your spirit is now getting stronger and your flesh is getting more weaker. Okay, Every time you guys are feeding your spirit, now what can you do to feed your spirit? Uh, you can do some prayer, you can do some fasting. Uh, there's many things to do to feed your spirit, but most important thing you can do guys is to abstain from sin, to abstain from willful sin. Now the Bible says if a man says he's without sin, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. So we want to be the best we can guys to give up willful sin willful uh or willful disobedience okay this is in uh uh galatians chapter 5 verse 16 to 17 it says this i say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh so that's why i made this number two guys walk in the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh check this out verse 17 says for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh okay so when you're in your flesh when you're living in the flesh your flesh is now getting stronger and your spirit is getting weaker. So now you see yourself giving more into temptation, to giving yourself more into to willful sin because you're feeding your flesh and that's what the flesh likes to do. And the flesh is never satisfied. So you could do one sin and you might get some relief for a couple hours, you know, whatever it may be, but it's eventually the flesh is going to want more and more. It's never satisfied. That's why it's important, guys, to cut it off completely, whatever it is, because it's going to keep on building up. And there's a saying that if you give Satan an inch, he'll take you a mile. So the sin is very dangerous. It must be avoided, okay? Like I said, I, I, I know the scripture, if a man says he's got sin, he's a liar, and there's not in him, but we want to be living our life in willful obedience, okay? We don't want to be living our life in willful disobedience because that allows sin to come in your life to destroy you, to destroy your loved ones, the people around you, your family, etc., etc. All right, number three is give up the ungodly friends and family. Also, too, it just came to my mind. Give up the uh, ungodly, not only friends and family, uh, relationships too as well okay uh, this is in 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 55 or sorry 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 34 to 34 so it says be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners okay awake to righteousness and sin not for some have not the knowledge of God I speak this to your own shame okay so one thing that these, these people will do remember good communications will corrupt good manners so they'll corrupt your good morals corrupt your good character corrupt your good judgment being around certain people okay even the bible says in psalm chapter one blesses a man that hang not with the counsel of the ungodly or stand in the way of sinners or see in the seed or sit in the seed of the uh, sit in the um the seed of the scornful my fault all right so when you give these people up guys i'm telling you it's gonna be a lot easier now you might feel you might feel loneliness or alone but best believe guys your spirit is getting sharper and you're about to you're leveling up you and every time you level up like i always tell you guys always new devils and 
I could I could easily say this, guys. When when I gave up my willful sin, once I cut these people off, oh, it was easy. It just got so much easier because some guys, some people, guys, misery loves uh, company. People who are miserable, they want you to be miserable with them. The minute you escape that misery, okay, um, you now realize that wow, these type of people, you spend some time alone. You know, there, there's a saying that keep your grass low so you can see the snakes. You now spend some time alone with God. And now your God's giving you wisdom, knowledge to understand that these people were your enemies the whole time. You weren't able to see that because saying, how do you deceive? Okay, these people were snakes. They were just preying on your downfall, wanting you to stay stuck at the bottom. But when it's time to rise up and time to elevate spiritually, and ment uh, ment uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, you'll see people who, who they are. So always, guys, when it comes to giving up and living a life of full uh, obedience, okay, is giving up the ungodly friends and family. Now, you're not going to God is the... God doesn't want someone to be alone for the rest of their life. So you, you're going to attract other, you know, uh, I guess you could say righteous friends or family members, et cetera, et cetera. You will. So don't be discouraged or like a boyfriend, girlfriend or wife or husband in due time and due season. But before you attract that, get yourself right before that comes. So when it does come, you don't have to deal with the struggles of, you know, understanding, going through the spiritual warfare. You don't have the wisdom and knowledge. So always be ready before you get that. All right. Number four is surrender your life surrender your life to jesus christ okay and the reason why this might sound easier said than done but when you surrender your life to jesus christ your life now has purpose okay me, me giving my life to christ it made me realize that i have a bigger calling on my life and i can't be doing what everyone else is doing and i know the word you know i know what how christ says and this is what uh this is in math or this is in romans chapter 8 verse 8 to 9 okay it says so they that are in the flesh cannot please god so if you're a follower of Christ, we can't be in the flesh because you can't please God. Okay, and as followers of Christ, we do we give up everything to please God. We give up everything to be 100% obedient. Now, are we going to be perfect and without sin? No, but we are trying the best we can. That's what that's what God wants. He wants us to try with actions. Okay, we have to love the truth and follow God with actions, not just with words, not just going to church or saying I love God, I love Jesus. He wants actions to back it up. Okay, just like us, us humans. Okay, when we're in relationships or in friendships, we want people to show we, they love us and they care for us through actions, okay? So not just by saying, oh, I love you, because words are just words, but someone putting actions, that's the true form of love, okay? So uh, verse 9 says, but they that are in the flesh, oh, sorry, sorry, um, let me read this whole thing again. So it says, so they that, they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Okay, so who today, guys, could say they have the spirit of Christ? So people could call themselves Christians. People could call themselves followers of the Most High, followers of God, right? But who could say they have the spirit of Christ? And when you have the spirit of Christ in you guys, I know this from mix. I know this because I got that spirit. It's going to be a lot easier to fight against temptations because when Christ overcame temptation, so it's going to be a lot easier for in your discernment is going to go up. Okay, this is the most important spirit you got to have, guys, especially as a follower of Christ. As a Christian, a Hebrew, whatever you uh, classify yourself as, you need the spirit of Christ, okay? If any man have not the spirit of Christ, he doesn't belong to Christ. This is the Bible. How come I had to read this verse for myself to know that? The churches don't tell us this, okay? So the spirit of Christ is, needs to be promoted more. A lot of people out here, guys, are spiritually dead, and that's why they can't overcome sin, okay? So remember, guys, the spirit of Christ, all right? When you surrender your life to Jesus Christ fully, 100% obedience, remember, Jesus says, if you love me, you keep my commandments, okay? Remember, actions, is always action when it comes to loving God, when it comes to loving Christ. So when you surrender your life to Christ, keep these uh, honor God's law, statutes, and commandments, okay? And you have the faith in Jesus Christ. That now purpose brings strength. Purpose brings strength. So this is what we need, guys. Purpose is, that's that's my purpose in life, to be a follower of Christ and to lead people to him. That's my purpose. And that gives me strength and motivates me because if the son overcame everything, all the things that he went through, then I know I can too with him being inside me, the spirit. All right, number five is, Put on the full armor of God, okay? Put on the full armor of God. You got to understand when you give up a sin, when you give a willful sin, you got to be ready for war ready, okay? It's not going to be easy. Satan's not going to let you lead the kingdom of darkness. Satan's not going to, these demons are not going to let you go free. So you must, this is this is so important, guys. You must, and then you get the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, right? To overcome addiction, to give up certain people. God's, God's speaking to you and you're finally willing. You're finally willing to answer the calling because you truly love God and you want to back that up with action. So you're following the work, right? You got to understand that spiritual warfare is knocking at your door. Spiritual warfare is knocking at your door. These demons, these devils that you're entertaining, these doors, that these spiritual doors that you're opening through, whatever sin it was, they're coming. 
This is going to be a war for your soul, guys. It's going to be a war for your soul. So always keep that in mind. When you're giving up a sin, when you're giving up a certain strongholds and, you know, you're breaking free from it, expect spiritual warfare. Okay, that's why it's important, guys, to read the Bible. So this is in uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Verse 11 to 12. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, verse 13, Wherefore take you into the, the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done to stand all. Okay, so check this out. This is in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15. So it says, Yea, truth failed, and he that depart from evil make himself a prey. And the Lord saw it and did, did please him that there was no judgment. Okay, so he that depart from evil, he that departs from sin, now makes himself a prey in the spiritual realm. Satan sees you as a target. The devil won't bother you when you're living a life of sin. He'll bother you when you get out. So guys, put on the full armor of God and understand spiritual warfare is coming. Now, spiritual warfare is every single day, but especially it's going to turn up when you give up those sins. Okay. Number six is um, be ready for spiritual warfare. I kind of went on with that. You know, be ready for spiritual warfare and the attacks, the attacks of the enemy. And uh, number seven is uh, let the Holy Spirit and wisdom guide you. This is the most important thing, guys. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and also the sister wisdom, okay? I want to give you guys this verse. This is a very important verse, okay? Um, this is not the verse I want to, the next one I'm going to read. So this is this is going to, Ecclesiastes uh, 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 chapter 7, verse 12. So it says, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give life to him who has it. So wisdom gives life. Wisdom shows us what we're doing wrong. Wisdom tells us that we have to correct ourselves. Wisdom show, you know, it, it talks to us every single day, man. God gave, gave us wisdom. And the Bible even says that, therefore get wisdom and get understanding. Okay, she shall guard the, she will, she will protect you from life. Okay, and the Bible even says that those who hate wisdom love death. Those who hate wisdom love death. So this is in um, Proverbs chapter eight. Chapter, I, I recommend you guys all, if you guys have made it this far, uh, I recommend you all check out guys, Proverbs chapter eight. It's a classic, classic. Okay, so it says, O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak excellently things, and open my, my lips shall speak right things. For my mouth speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteousness, and there is nothing fraud or preserved in them. They are all plain to him that understand, and right to them that find knowledge. This is wisdom speaking, guys. Okay, uh, receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be to compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to say, hey, evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the proud mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings rule and princes declare justice. By me, princes uh, rule and nobles and even the judges of the earth. I love them that love me and those that seek, seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, fine gold, and my revenues than, uh, than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the in the midst of the path of judgment. Ooh, I love speaking to God. I love I love words. I love speaking this man. I can read the whole thing. I can read the whole thing. But I, I was only planning to read a couple of verses. But man, wisdom is is a beautiful thing. I recommend you guys all get wisdom. That's what's needed, man. And uh, remember, the Bible does say too that wisdom will crown you with grace. Okay, so like I said, we all fall short. We want that grace. We don't want to abuse the grace, though. We don't want to be, you know, giving over to willful sin. But when, when we do fall short, wisdom gives us a crown of grace. Okay, so how to break free from willful sin. Number one, to confess your sins and forsake them. Number two, always feed your spirit and resist the flesh. Number three is give up the ungodly friends and family and relationships. Number four, is surrender your life to Jesus Christ because it gives purpose, which brings strength. Number five is put on the full armor of Yah. Number six is be ready for spiritual warfare and uh, attacks. And number seven is let the Holy Spirit and wisdom guide you. That's the most important thing, guys. If you guys don't have the Holy Spirit, ask God for him. Ask God for it, and he will give it to you freely. If you guys made it this far, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all social media platforms. And if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. And beware, there's like fake profiles of me in the comments below, so I don't have WhatsApp, and I won't text you or anything like that. So just put it out there. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.